The North Korean invasion of sovereign Ukrainian territory is a red line for Washington. The White House should consider direct military action against North Korean units if they take part in Russia's war against Ukraine. Congressman Mike Turner, who heads the House Intelligence Committee, made this call to the American administration. The Hill reports. In turn, White House National Security Representative John Kirby reported that in the first two weeks of this month, Pyongyang sent at least 3,000 of its troops to Russia. The transfer was carried out by sea from the North Korean region of Wonsan to Vladivostok. The soldiers moved this month and are being trained at multiple Russian military bases, Kirby said. They're fair targets, and the Ukrainian military will defend themselves against North Korean soldiers the same way they're defending themselves against Russian soldiers. He said, there could be dead and wounded North Korean soldiers fighting against Ukraine. The US presidential administration believes that the entry of North Korean troops into the war against Ukraine will be a sign of the Kremlin's growing desperation. According to Kirby, the Ukrainian armed forces will defend themselves against the North Korean military in the same way they defend themselves against the Russian army. His comments, were the first detailed assessment Washington has offered after its allies grew frustrated by sounding the alarm for days with their own intelligence. Still, integrating the two militaries will not be easy, and it is likely to be complicated by their different languages, experts say, though the prospect of North Korea's inexperienced military bringing back critical battleground experience has worried officials in Seoul. North Korea's dispatch of the troops to Russia is a provocation that is threatening the security of the Korean Peninsula, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol said. North Korea will not stand by and do nothing, his office said in a statement. The US and other countries say North Korea has already provided critical munitions, including millions of artillery shells, to Russia in possible exchange for key military technology that Pyongyang could use to advance its nuclear ambitions. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen visited the central Bosnian village of Donja Jablanica on Thursday, after it was devastated by recent floods and landslides. The disaster in early October claimed 27 lives, and the small village was virtually buried in rocks that descended on the village from a quarry located on a hill above. I am here 20 days after the disaster and it is still heartbreaking to see the devastation, the destruction here in the region, said von der Leyen. Bosnia has sought EU aid and many countries have sent teams to help through the EU's civil protection mechanism. Europe stands with you and we are here not only for the short run but also for the mid and long term, to help you first of all, of course to help immediately, but second to reconstruct and rebuild after the disaster," she added. Unfortunately, the other side, when uh, the box came from the ferry, uh, at 7 in the morning, going for work, not knowing 
20 days after the disaster and it is still heartbreaking to see the devastation, the destruction uh, here in the region. First and foremost, my thoughts are with the victims and the families and friends they left behind. Uh, what a horrible experience. I heard that the disaster started in the middle of the night. People had no chance to uh, flee the destruction. And I wanted to say Europe is by your side. Europe stands with you. And we're here not only for the short run, but also for the mid and long term to help you, first of all, of course, to uh, help immediately, but secondly, to reconstruct and rebuild after the disaster again. Thank <laughs> you. 